zero, nada, never, nunca, no, no, no. Those are my thoughts regarding rubrics to assess pop-up debates. In this video, why I stopped using rubrics for pop-up debates many, many, many years ago and why I will never, ever go back. Pop-up debates, which you can learn lots more about on my channel or in chapter four of my book, These Six Things, are one of my favorite tools to use in teaching. They give me tons of formative information. They require very little effort on my part. My students love them. Kids in end-of-year surveys cite them as the best review activities that we do. I could go on and on, but they are just great. But sometimes conscientious, hardworking folk like you you ask me, Dave, I'd like to show my kids how important these pop-up debates are by giving them a rubric with feedback on their performance. And I always tell these people, just don't do it. Now, back in the day, I used to use rubrics on pop-up debates. I did. I'd assess students on the content of their speeches or the organization of their speeches or the delivery of their speeches using Eric Palmer's PV legs. In fact, I think in Eric Palmer's book, Well Spoken, which is a masterpiece, he includes a PV legs rubric, and I used that a few times. But there were a couple of problems with my use of this rubric. First of all, I would very quickly get overwhelmed completing the rubric during the pop-up debate. I'd get behind, I'd be stressed, out the whole time. I would miss teachable moments. You can't miss teachable moments. Those are precious. And so I just started to get annoyed with myself. And I asked myself, why am I doing this? Well, Dave, you're doing it to give feedback to your students. You're doing it so you can put a legit grade in the grade book. And then I asked myself, wait a second, aren't there simpler ways to give feedback to my students? What if I just every few students interrupt and give a specific individual or the whole class some generalized feedback based on patterns that I'm seeing? Wouldn't that also give feedback for students? Yes, that does give feedback to students. A legit grade in the grade book. What the heck is a legit grade in the grade book? Why are you so worried about this legit grade in the grade book thing? If you want to put a grade in the grade book for pop-up debate, just give kids 10 points out of 10 points when they participate. But the beautiful thing about pop-up debate is that you really don't need to dangle the grade to get the kids to participate. If you use a good progression to get them comfortable with speaking before the class, then they're just going to participate because it will be a normal part of class. By the way, page 218 is where I write a couple of pages on how I help kids get over their fear of public speaking. This book is good, I promise. You, you should get it for your whole school. So now my rubric reason was gone. I didn't need to give them feedback that way. I didn't need to make a grade that was legit. And I've never looked back. When pop-up debates are happening in my room, I'm keeping track of how many times each student has spoken. I'm making note on that same sheet of paper, any observations that I'm having. I'm standing up and modeling once or twice my own contribution to the pop-up debate. I'm periodically interrupting with public service announcements to remind them of a skill that I'm not seeing them practice or mini celebrations to say how impressed I am by their use of a new skill that we just learned. And that is really it. That's how my students are receiving feedback, and that works wonders. Using this method without rubrics, I see my students every year, each of them, grow in their ability as a speaker and a thinker, not because of some fancy rubric work I'm doing, but because you just will grow if you do this kind of work with care. And the nice thing about public speaking is students are going to tend to be highly motivated to do it. They're going to tend to care about it because of that positive peer pressure. So if you're worried about doing a rubric for Papa debate, let me just... Let me just help you sleep a little better tonight. Tonight when you lay your head on that pillow, it's just going to be a little bit fluffier, a little bit more relaxing for you because this is one thing you don't need to worry about anymore. Take care, colleague. Cheers. I'll see you next time.